Hi viewers, welcome to Penhouse Jordan. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Airmail Valley T67 T Fountain Pen. And this video is specifically taken to give a, uh, give a clear insight on the uh, pen because uh, just with photos, you can't fully understand the pen. So here, this pen has a, a silver clip and a silver ring on the cap. And this is a dark blue color marble finished cap with a fluted transparent body and this is a thread tip mechanism you have to unscrew to open this is an mb nib you can easily get space for this and uh, uh, these are very uh, cheaper one and very quality one and for this pair you can refer our site you can go to our site and click pen spares then go to nibs and there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require and um, you can get a uh, in dual tone or full golden or full silver nibs also in, in fine and medium tipped too and let me going to show the entire the diameter of this pen means here the holding area's diameter is 8.2 mm and here the body's diameter is 11.3 mm and the length of the pen without cap is 118.6 mm and again with the enclosed tab I have the closed cap this is 133.5 mm and here the weight of this pen is 12 grams yes and here since the holding area diameter is a smaller one this is more suitable for little fingers for uh, children and also the reservoir capacity is more we can fill more than 3 ml of ink in this and make sure uh, this is a, a transparent body please do not use uh, pri uh, primary colors uh, color ink so that it will create a strain on the wall of the pen and here there is a breather hole in the cap so this will prevent the ink from glogging and it maintains a balanced atmospheric pressure on the ink and one of the important thing in uh, maintaining a pen is especially the eyedropper pen is um, washing please wash the pen regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on a longer usage it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and uh, slowly the ink will dry quickly then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out and i think you may experience doing this so the reason is the blockage in the feeder screw so to clean and deposit uh, to clean the deposits and dirts please remove the feeder unit and nib separately by holding the nibs and feed it together and twist and pull so this is so simple to remove this and here there is a tube in which you can uh, get a uniform flow from the uh, from the barrel to the tip or uh, till the tip and this is so simple to fix it back yeah it's done and so this two minutes process uh, uh, will give a long run to a life then after removing this uh, feeder from the uh, grip portion uh, flush the feeder with the help of any toothbrush or any brush clean uh, well with uh, soap water or in tap water if you're soaking in soap water then allow it for an hour and brush and clean and in ink bottles itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water so it is clear unless otherwise we have good maintaining and good cleaning the flow will be affected and again on maintenance all the threads are turned to worn out so uh, to increase the life of the thread please apply a silicone grease or vaseline every time whenever you are opening and closing the grip area during ink fill and also uh, whenever you fill the ink uh, fill below the inner threads of this barrel if you are filling in excess the leakage path will create it and uh, it will uh, spoils your uh, hands 
and here the most important thing is few nibs need to be fine tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines like uh, upwards and downwards yeah and after doing this please make sure the nibs are in parallel uh, if not you will get a scratchy writing yeah then here uh, while doing fine tuning uh, the space is created in the between the tines which will allow the good flow of ink and in turn you will get a smooth writing and here i'm going to show the writing sample of this pen for that i'm using our penhouse violet color ink wow this is so so smooth and yeah i love to write with this yeah the writing is so fine and so smooth And if you have any query about this pen, you can ask in the comment section or you can make a uh, call to our mobile number. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.